Hello everybody and welcome! We are here back with Jeb Lost His Key, episode 6, where we are going to try to get to Paul. We are still in orbit around the ugly little space potato Bob. I am still hungry and we are now heading outwards in a bit of a weird trajectory, but it was the only way I managed to get an encounter with Paul. And I was a little bit impatient. But that doesn't matter, we are now on our way, some minor adjustment on the way, so we get uh, the real encounter, there we go. And then we are at Pole. This tiny little moon is one of the least gravitationally active, can you call it that way? Well, what I meant to say, this has the least gravity in Kerbal Space Program. Okay, and while we're here, of course, we're gathering all the science and then, of course, we're collecting it. There we go. Okay. So our brave Kerbinaut has collected all the science and now we're going fast forward, moving towards Pole. Okay, and since we're here, now we're circularizing with our big mothership, the Naginata. And of course, as per usual, if you watch this series a lot, then you already know what's going to happen. We're going to set down on that tiny little moon with our ship, the Yajiri. Well, a ship, it's more a plane, rather. Uh, we used this to land on lathe and get back up again. And we're going to use this as well to try to land at the KSC, the Kerbal Space Center. But before we can do that, in a few hundred days, we first have to set down on pole and collect all the science we can get from there. Okay, uh, same problem as with Bob, I picked my landing site poorly. And we're sliding. Not good. I don't want to slide. Well, this is starting to get a bit too dangerous for my taste, so yeah, let's try to find another spot that's a bit less, well, steep, I don't know, there we go, this looks, this looks better, well, we're still standing on not all of our landing legs, but it looks stable enough to me. Okay, as per usual, we have to do all those science experiments. And once we've marveled at the ragged and unfamiliar shape of Paul, it is time to collect some more science and plant the flag. So, some writing, and yes, back up to the ship. Also here I'm trying, as was the thing with Bob, to get some footing on the cargo bay and for some reason I managed to do it here, at least for a short while, short enough, well long enough, to get uh, all the signs I needed and then get back into the cockpit. Okay, time to get back to our mothership, back to the Naginata. And also back to Jeb, who still has not found his key, would you believe that? Jeb is still looking for his keys, so, hmm, we've now encountered the final moon of Jewel and we still don't have the key. This is very strange indeed. But okay, first let's get this plane back on our mothership, planning our rendezvous, this looks good. And yeah, this is just standard procedure, just using my usual maneuvering skills to get to the Naginata and then of course get inside the docking bay. New viewers, if you're wondering what those docking ports in the back are for, that was where the Tylo uh, jacket was attached. There was a jacket around the plane that I used as a descent stage to get to Tylo. You can watch that in a previous episode of this series. Uh, now we have to gather all the science that we got from Paul and put it in our science lab. There we go. And uh, yeah, 
I am now planning my return to Kerbin. And as you can see here, there might be a problem. You see, I would need about 1500 meters per second of delta V to at least get to Kerbin. But my Kerbal engineer readout says I have only 1300 meters per second left. Hmm. But as there is a saying, the clever man plans ahead. So, wonders of wonders, look what I have parked here previously. Well, we're going to see that in the next episode, so thanks for watching, goodbye.